it's time for another book haul. I actually have a mini one and then one from a Goodwill that I just uh, came back from. The one that I use the most in town is very large, so we have a really big book selection. The other one I stopped at another town, another Goodwill, and they had a really small just selection of everything. It wasn't a very big thrift store, but their actually their prices and their books were cheaper. So I picked up a couple things. Um, one was While She Slept, which is a true crime um, book, which it even still has the Books A Million sticker on the back. I can, I can tell where that sticker's from. Uh, but it's about the Jill and Jeff Cahill, uh, the, the murder of Jill Cahill. I believe I've heard something about this one when I used to watch, like, true crime stuff on TV all the time. So I'm sort of familiar, I think. If I read it, I think I might remember uh, some of that. Another one I picked up was Redbone, um, which is uh, about another murder that happened here. It's another true crime, and this one was involved in a lot of, um, a lot of stuff with ex-wives and lovers and competitors, and he just had a lot of enemies and different things, so um, this was kind of a messy situation here, I believe in Atlanta. So this is Redbone, which is also true crime. Then I have, this one I picked up just because I like the cover. Um, this was in his waiting, and if you see it's got the little cutaway where the eyes are, this is a very 90s thing to do, uh, 80s, 90s thing to do on a, on a book. This one is uh, about, it's a thriller, but I think it's about aliens think. Um, that's what I, all I could gather because it doesn't really have a book blurb. It just has a bunch of like people making comments about the book on the back. So it's this sort of, you just kind of have to piece through that sometimes when books do that. But I liked the cover on that one. And then this last one, I think I have a paperback copy of this one, but I also bought this hardback of Close to Shore. It's about the, um, the shark attacks that happened in the 1920s, I believe, that um, Jaws was actually based on this shark that was in New England and did a lot of a lot of killing um, there during 1916. So it was almost the 20s um, there. But yes, yeah, so this is a hard hardcover version of Close to Shore. Now the book haul I had today was at my Goodwill. Uh, we got When Life Gives You Lululemons, which uh, is associated with The Devil Wears Prada. So um, this one I think should be pretty good. I I've heard of that one before. Uh, we've got The Red Tent, only this is like a really fancy copy. It's got like a built-in um, bookmark and everything on it. So this is like a very extremely fancy copy of The Red Tent, which I've never read, by the way, even though I know that's a pretty well-known book. Uh, we've got The Woman Who Wasn't There, which I have a really beat-up paperback copy of, but this is about the woman who claimed she was, in, she was there at 9-11 and had lost a fiancé and all sort of stuff, and they found out she was actually from Spain, had never even been there, had lied about it everything she even she was like became the president of one of the survivor organizations and everything like that it just was a huge thing about this woman who just uh casually lied about everything when it came to a very serious matter so um i've seen the movie or documentary of that but have not read the book yet uh, and then we've got some terry pratchett fud which you can't ever pass up terry pratchett um, I've never read Tana French, but I hear a lot about her, and this is The Searcher. This is one of her, um, Irish crime novels. We've got another, uh, book by Ken Follett. I have read Pillars of the Earth. Um, this one has something to do with espionage. Um, it's pretty thin for Ken Follett. He tends to write bricks, and this one is not so much, so I'm curious as to what that is. Uh, this is Stealing Athena. This is a historical fiction about two women from different time periods who are involved in 
um, a lot of stuff when it comes to art. Um, some some kind of strange, not scandalous art, but controversial art that is um, ties the two of them over the time periods. Uh, this one is Hero of Hacksaw Ridge, which they based that Andrew Garfield movie on, I believe. Yeah, it's Andrew Garfield in that movie. Uh, this one's somehow this is an abridged version. I have I don't know what why that's so thin. And speaking of books that were turned into movies, this is Moneyball, which I've never read because I'm not that interested in baseball nor am I interested in economics all that much. But I've heard it's really good, so we'll see. And then last, I have a Stephen Ambrose who I haven't strange relationship with thinking whether he's accurate or not on some stuff because he's come under fire on some nonfiction things. Uh, this is Undaunted Courage. This is about Lewis and Clark, uh, the journey across the country, which this one's a little thicker than Ambrose. A lot of his uh, World War II stuff is, but, and, and Confederate War stuff. Anyway, this is a Stephen Ambrose book, so. That was my haul here on this on these last two times I have stopped at Goodwills. So not bad, particularly on mine is always pretty pretty successful when I go.